Hey everybody, this is Andrew from Tia's for Tech, and today I am taking a look at the new version of the Nomadic Travel Pack. Now, I did a review, a six-month review, about five or six months ago, of the, the first edition Nomadic Travel Pack that I had owned um, up until today, right, obviously. And, you know, that, you can take a look at that uh, review video and just uh, in the card above. Basically what happened is Nomada came out with a new version of the bag, uh, slightly re revised from a construction standpoint, different zippers, so they're using YKK zippers, they changed some of the materials in the bag as well uh, to make it a little bit more refined, right? So I, I think that they had a lot of comments from people and there's some of the things that I had initially had issues with on the bag that I kind of mentioned in the prior video that I think have been resolved in this new version. I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing of this. Obviously, it's not in the box. I already took it out of the box. I don't have enough room here in frame to do that. So I took it out of the box, but I left it in this um, bag that it was kind of wrapped in. And so we'll kind of take this out, look at it, and just talk through what I think are some of the changes that address some of my issues in the past. So what I'm not gonna do is do a side-by-side -side comparison of the bags because doesn't really make that big of a difference because they're discontinuing the old bag. It's on clearance right now. So if you're interested in the first generation bag, uh, you can definitely take a look at it there uh, on the, I'll, I'll link in the description to the uh, site. And I think they probably obviously have, you know, reduced inventory that they're gonna try to clear out so they have some discounts. So definitely check that out if you're interested in the first generation bag. But like I said, not really gonna do a side by side be because they are discontinuing the other bag. But I, I'm so excited about this because I love the Nomadic bag. And even if I would have had a problem with the other bag in the past and I needed to get a replacement, I would have bought another one, even the old version, right? It's just a really functional bag. It says right here, the most functional gear ever. And it, it I really do believe that. I mean, these are awesome bags. Uh, so definitely, if you're in the market, you should definitely take a look at it. So right off the bat, to me, the bag basically looks the same, right? It's the same structure. It's the same layout as the prior one. If you're on the fence between the travel pack and the backpack, as I kind of mentioned my, in my other video, I don't think you can go wrong with just getting the travel pack. I think it is a little bit better suited for multiple scenarios. If you never think you're going to travel anywhere, or you're never going to think that you need more than the 20 or 25 liter capacity that the backpack gives you, you know, maybe you should get the backpack. But but this one I really like because I think going from 20 to 25 liter capacity is really not very helpful, but going from 20 to 30 is significant, right, from, from that aspect. This is not really about the differences between those the travel pack and that backpack. But, you know, maybe I'll do a separate video on that because there are some decisions you can make that, you know, either make one more attractive than the other. But anyways, so this is what the bag looks like. Take this little thing off of there. I do like the presentation, generally, that Nomadic has with all of their stuff. So, so right off the bat, things I notice that are different uh, is they change the bottom part of this bag used to have kind of a, a diagonal piece here that had a bunch of triangles on it and the nomadic logo so they kind of simplified that a little bit cleaner looking the material feels different uh it looks a little bit more of a matte finish here i don't know if you can really see uh still weather resistant rain resistant but it is a little bit more matte re matte the other one had a little bit more of a gloss to it and it would really pick up scratches. So hopefully this is a little bit more resistant to scratches and uh, wear than the other bag. And I, that was one of the things I was a little bit annoyed with in the other bag is that, you know, after like a week or two of using it, it was all scuffed up looking, which kind of sucked, right? So they did upgrade the zippers and they changed some of the things here, like the zip, uh, the radius on this corner. It was a little bit tighter on the other bag, 
which made it kind of hard to zip around the corners when you were kind of going to zip it, and it would always get caught. And this goes a little bit more freely up around that corner now, and the zipper itself feels better, right? And I think that is because they are using YKK zippers on uh, the different parts of the bag here. So that's definitely nice, right? So that's one of the things I had issue with on the other bag or the original version was the zippers and just the radius and the, you know, the way that it's unzipped and, and or didn't unzip, right? The other thing that they changed up is the material on the inside. Still the same from the aspect of these little pockets and stuff like that. I don't think they even really changed any of the actual layout of the bag. I mean, it all to me looks the same, but they did change this piece here. This is still RFID safe, this pocket, but this interior is a little bit different. And it's not, I, I thought it was actually gonna be more of a fleece but it's not really a fleece, but it is a it is a nicer material. Uh, the other bag had more of just like a gray, um, I don't even know what exactly it was, but it was more of a gray, sort of lighter gray. Well, I said I wasn't gonna show it, but I don't know, we'll show, we'll show it here. Um, but it's, it's more of this kind of this, this plain gray interior sort of thing. So as you can see, it looks a little bit nicer. Um, and from that aspect, while the material feels similar, it looks nicer. This is more of this heather gray kind of material versus the just light gray that was in the other one. So the compartment to me looks the same as the prior, which is fine because I like the layout of it. And you got all the pockets here, which, which, is, which is nice. That's that. Um, so I'll kind of zip this back up. So this is the front, the front part. And then at the top, you have this, it's hard to even see here, this fleece-lined compartment that you, I, I typically store my phone in and maybe my AirPods or something that I want to grab right at the top of the bag. So that that's that's there, and that the zipper feels a little bit smoother on this as well as compared to the other one. And then you have basically this main compartment, which I think they also changed a little bit of how this piece connects. So this is even a little bit of a smoother, a smoother zip radius there. Yeah, that's definitely better than the, the prior one. And then basically inside, Things look the same. They changed the coloring of this. I think the other one had some blue pieces around it. This is the inner divider for uh, the compartment where that expands that you can put more travel-y clothes and stuff like that. This is the same. They give you the sunglass case, hard case here. I don't. I didn't use this in my other bag. It, it just wasn't that useful for me because it's rectangle and it took up a big chunk of space. I just put my sunglass case in there. So I have like uh, Ray-Ban sunglasses and I just put those in there. This also comes with the waist strap, which is a little bit different of a design to kind of match the new bag. It has zippers for putting things in, etc. So that's nice. You know, basically the waist strap has some waterproof pockets fits phones, it has the zippers on it, passport size pocket, comfortable design, etc. So, so this is nice, very, yeah, but the rest of the bag, again, not much of a change from that perspective. Still got the side pockets here. Like I said, the, you know, this is the sunglass case. This, I think, looks basically the same as the other one as well, but got that. Then this kind of zips, got, a pocket in the back there. Uh, you still have your little retractable leash promotional stuff. They say, you know, you put some keys in it and then you can unzip the bottom and, you know, grab it. So that's all the same, really. So that's basically the same, I think. 
Um, sides are the same. You got your little magnetic water bottle pouches on either side. You got your hand straps for carrying it as a, like a, as a briefcase. And then you have your back compartment, which is where I normally you know, store my laptop in here or whatever, as well as some other stuff. And this feels also basically all about the same. I don't think they really changed much in this compartment other than the material, like I said, is different. It's just this heather gray material. Straps look the same as well. I don't think they really changed anything here. Chest strap is about the same. Yeah, I mean, really, everything is... Get your secret compartment in here. They didn't change that. The one problem I did have on the initial, the, the first generation bag, was that this was too small for my hand to fit in fully. It's also too small for my hand to fit in fully here. So it doesn't, I don't think they changed the size of that pocket. Handles the same, straps feel the same. Yeah, this, this zipper feels like they also did some stuff with it for the expansion of the center section. So really, I, you know, I think the biggest changes for me from just like a usability perspective and the complaint perspective that I had before is that I didn't like the zippers. The zippers felt sticky on the old, on the other bag. The some of the radiuses were too tight to really have a smooth zip experience right so and the material on the front was kind of gets scratched up really easily and that's it may it may it might even feel just a tad bit lighter with nothing in it so i think that they said that the material that they used uh, to compose the bag body was a little bit lighter uh, than the, the prior tarpaulin material they used so so that maybe lightened it up just a tad bit yeah i mean but aside from that it's it's very, very, very similar to the first version of this. Um, like I said, I really think that they just did some minor tweaks and enhancements on, you know, like I said, the materials that are for the bag, the zippers, uh, the interior, you know, the interior lining material and all of that. Um, but, but really, the rest of it is 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 basically the same. I mean, they didn't really change too drastically the product, which I guess reflects pretty well on the initial design, right? <laughs> if if uh, people were very happy with the initial design, I was super happy with the initial design. You know, it's just one of those things where there was just a few things that bugged me, a few things that could have been fixed, and I think that they did a really good job of fixing them. Again, just want to do a quick unboxing, quick thought here on on this new version of the bag as a follow-up to the prior video that I did with the other bag. Now I'm planning to put everything in this one basically just how I had it in the other bag. So um, from a usability standpoint, I'm gonna use this exactly the same. Like I said, nothing really drastically changed at all with the pockets and all the compartments and all of that. And I had it pretty good set up with the other bag and I'm just gonna replicate that with this one. So if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, drop those below. If you like the video, you like the channel, you know, please subscribe. Please give this a thumbs up. If you want to see the other video I did with kind of my experience of using the other bag for six months, I'll link to that here too in the, in the card or in the description. So you should check that out. It's a pretty long video. I go through a bunch of stuff. So I think that might be helpful if you're still in the market for the travel pack and you want to see how you can probably use it. Um, that video still pertains as well because they didn't really change the design too much. So, again, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them below. This is Andrew from TS for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.